Uh. Yeah. Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we are told to apply the principle of tangency in order to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the top right corner of the screen. Now to give to get a clearer view, we'll be looking at the same figure and we will start to draw by first of all we we'll draw a horizontal line and a vertical line. So let's do that first. So if I apply my horizontal line this way, if I move up and apply the horizontal line this way, so we have then the vertical line also is what we have. Now after we've done that, you discover that this figure is more like a symmetrical object. But when I split it into two, what I will see in the left hand side will be equal to what I will see in the right hand side, just like this. If I split into two, what is at the left hand side is equal to what is at the right hand side. Now we we'll start. From here to the left of this circle is 38 and to the right also is what 38. So I'll take my metal rule and my compass and I'll measure 38. So this is 38 here. And I'll place it here and I'll mark 38 to the left and 38 to the right right now i'm going to take it up also with my set square i'll move those point up at a distance of let me move this point up first so this will go up and this will go up also right line Right, so if you look at this figure closely again, discover that this point and this point are the center point of this circle. Then the next two circle is at the height of what 62. So I'm going to measure 62 upward. So I can easily take my compass and measure 62 on my meter rule this way. Right, I'm using to my meter this way and I'll place it here and I'll mark 62 up. So, with the help of my T square, or better still, I'll just use this and I'll mark 62 up. So, I'll just join them with my meter rule with front line this way. Now this point and this point is for the other two circles, which is this and this. And there's two, there's still two more, and that is another 32 millimeter upward. So I'll just measure 62 on my meter rule again. This is the two. Then I'll come here. I'll mark 62 upward, and I'll mark 62 upward. Right, so I use my metal rule and I'm going to join this way. Now that means I've got the four points for the circle two, three, four, five, and six. So that is for center one, two, three, four, five, and six. So the next thing is for me to start drawing the circles there. So if you look at it, the circle we say we say we have six holes diameter twelve, right? So we are in radius of six. I'm going to measure radius of six on my meter rule. This radius of six here, right? And I will place it at this point, right? And draw. The first circle, first circle 
à gauche du sac en sac au saut. Le petit tour hors de ce point. Il y a une première en saut. On deux tours. De ce point. Then, you come here also, do the same thing. Then, you come here too, do the same thing. So, we've drawn out the six circles that is shown, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. And the next thing we need to do at the Top two and the bottom two, another circle that is there that has a radius of what? Radius of 12. So I'm going to measure 12 this way. On my meter rule, I'm going to measure radius of 12. Right? And I'll place it at this point. So I'll just draw a circle this way. Faint line, first of all. Or I'll draw a circle. At this point, it will be touching from here to here. Let's do that from here. Straight down to here. You can see that? I'll keep it. Those are two this way. Thank you. And here also, do here too. Thank you. Then here too, do the same thing too. Thank you. You can see that? So that are the two top there now if you look at this there's a bigger circle that is wrapping these two smaller circle as in bigger circle wrapping these two circle i just draw here and when you see a circle wrapping another circle you see the circle is internal right so internal circles so what will i do when you see a circle that is wrapping so if you look at this very well there's a circle here inside there's another circle here inside All right so we see that they are internal so in internal circle you're going to what you're going to subtract so you subtract radius 12 from this radius here which is 100 you will have 88 so since they are identical they are symmetrical i'm going to measure 88 on my meter rule both bottom and top are the same so to save time i'll measure 88 here this is 88 and I'll place it at this point at the center of this point here I'll strike an arc I'll come here also I'm going to strike another arc so they are meeting here so this is for this I'll come here at this point where they meet I'll take it to this point here make sure that it is well placed right so you place them very well I'm going to draw. I see that. That is the first one. Now I'll do the same thing here too. We know that from this point, from this point to this point is 88, right? So I'll come here also. I'll strike another arc here. I'll place it here. Strike another one here. So they are meeting at this point here. So I'm going to replicate the same thing. Take it to this baseline here. And I'll join you. Target it, then you join. Now after you've done that, you can now use a meter rule and you join from this point to this point. Then from this point to this point. So I can close it up from here. 
दस के जी कुछ है देन है और सी बिल तो देन है और सी बिल तो Oh, we successfully drawn out the external part of it. Now we'll be focusing in the internal part. So the next thing we want to do here is to draw out this circle, right? And the circle is telling us from here two holes, diameter 25. So we need 12.5 to draw these two circles. And the thing you need to understand, for you to draw a circle, you need the center to draw a circle. So where can I get the center of the circle? So if you look at from this point, which is this point, I'm going to measure 38 up and 50 down. So let's do that and see. So if I measure my 38 up, first of all, let's do that of 38. From here, this is 38. I'll measure it up. Right? Then I'm going to measure 50 down. So this is 50. So I'll measure 50 down. At the same point here, I'll measure 50 down. So this at this point I'm having my center line. So here, there's a center line here. Let us bring it out in long one, short, long, short, long. Now come here also, I'll do the same thing too. Longer one, short, longer one, short, and so. So from here, I'll start drawing the circle from what I have here. Since the radius of the circle, like I said earlier, is 12.5 since it's diameter 25. So I'm going to measure the 12.5 on my meter rule. From here to here, this is 10, 11, 12.5 here. All good. And I'll put the center here. I'm going to draw this. The first circle, 12.5, right? Then the second one also, 12.5. That's the two circles we have. Now the next one, the radius is given to be 32. That means this bigger one. So that's given to be what? 32, right? So we'll do that and see. But if you notice it, it is on the same line as this. It's touching. So what I'll do is, I'm going to measure 32 on my meter rule. This way. 0 to 32. Right. And I'll place it from this point. I'm going to mark here, downward. You can see that. I'll mark downward. Then I can now draw the circle from here. So I'll go to this point here. Just faint line first. Faint line. I see that. Now the next thing we'll be doing here is that the another circle here that has radius of what 20. You can look at it very well. It's radius of 20. So I measure radius of 20 on my meter rule less of 20 and 0 to this is 20 and I'll place at the center here and I'm going to draw the line now the next thing we'll be doing is that another one at this edge here that's telling us this is what 16 so I'm going to measure this of 16 for my meter rule because this point here is this point here so I measure the of 16 on my meter rule. Now place it here. Can you see it's not transition to that point? Now let's draw this this way. First of all. Then okay, I'll come here also. It's symmetrical like I said earlier. I'm going to do this too. From here. First of all. You can see that? So now the next thing is to draw this curve here. I want to draw this curve here. You measure. Look at this circle here. This twenty. 
this bigger one is wrapping it just like what i'm showing you here look at this right so that means it is internal whenever it's internal you need to subtract the radiuses now if you subtract you realize that the radius of this the radius of 12 radius of 20 right minus 50, 76 that will give us what 56 so i'm going to measure 56 on my meter rule this is zero to this point is 56 and i'll place it at this center here this way and i'm going to strike an arc like this and i'm going to strike another arc like this can see that so i've done that the next one like I said earlier, if you look at this, if I complete this radius of 16 circle, you realize that it is external to this circle here. This is going this way, and this is here. So it's external. And when it's external, you need to what? Add. So if I add 16 plus 76, I'm going to be having 92. And these two are symmetrical. So if I measure, that means if here is 92, here is also what? 92. So I'm going to measure 92 on my meter rule this way from 0 straight down to 92 right so I'm going to place it at this point I'll check an arc and I'll place it at this point too I'll check another arc now they are meeting here and they are meeting here so with the help of my compass i'll place it at where they meet here take it to this circle should be traditional at that point and i'm going to draw now when you draw you see that it is meeting that point then i'll turn it here also i'll come here too i'll do the same thing too so I'm going to gauge it to that point. Right, so it must meet. We have that. So I brought that out. So what I would just do is I would just Taking where I have to tick in, which is this point here also. Then this point here too. You done this. You come here also. You tick in here too. Right, you get this, and this point, center of the circle is here. I will come here, and I'll do this too. This point. Now this is what we have reproduced, right? So the next thing you need to do is the dimensioning, which is also very important. And also draw all your center lines. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.